Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share my opinions on a very controversial topic that's rampant in the art community. I see a lot of white creators having strong opinions on these topics and I want to add mine into the conversation as a black woman. We're gonna talk about whitewashing art as well as dissect the notion of quote-unquote blackwashing. You might be confused and wonder what is this art whitewashing Dumin is talking about? Well it's simple. It's an act of coloring an originally dark skinned character with a significantly whiter skin tone while doing fan art of said character. For example, drawing the Disney princess Tiana, who is supposed to be a black woman with white skin, or coloring that one black girl from Pokemon, Nessa, with white skin. Now you might wonder, what is blackwashing? Well, that's the exact same thing except with a white skin character. For example, coloring Sailor Moon or Goku from Dragon Ball Z with dark skin. This is something that many artists unfortunately do and I want you all to understand that the difference between the two is very significant. This is why I think having this conversation is very important. The reason why whitewashing is problematic and blackwashing isn't is rooted in our current society and the power imbalance that exists when it comes to representation. There are no black characters in Sailor Moon or Dragon Ball Z that us black people can relate to look-wise. That's why when we create fan art of our favorite characters, we sometimes want to make them look like us. It's simply because we don't have that representation in the first place, so we have to create it ourselves. We understand that when it comes to anime, for example, there will always be little to no representation of black people. Seeing that they are created in Japan, which is a very homogeneous country, it's understandable that they might not include many dark-skinned characters. However, when we look at mainstream media and the animations we get from there, you will quickly realize that there is still a huge imbalance in representation. Look no further than Disney or Pixar. Out of the slew of white princess movies we have, there is only one black princess and a couple of POC princesses. Majority is still white. That's why a lot of the times we either have to just deal with it or take matters into our own hands and draw our favorite characters to look like us. Doing this doesn't hurt anyone and it's usually done to create inclusivity and even inspire black people to cosplay their favorite characters despite of their skin color. However, when it comes to whitewashing, what purpose does it serve to color that one black character in an ocean of white skinned characters as white skin? It doesn't make sense. If you wanted to draw a white skin character, you literally have thousands upon thousands to choose from. So why choose to draw the only black character in a show as white skinned? There is no lack in representation when it comes to white skin characters, but there obviously is when it comes to black skin characters. That's literally the differentiating factor. So if you ever wondered why the black community gets up in arms when the only representation they have is being watered down to look like the majority, now you know why. Some people say that it's hypocritical to be against whitewashing but allow blackwashing. And to that I say, I think you're missing the point. You have to understand that with the context of our world and the current society we live in, they in fact are very different. There's plenty of representation for white skinned individuals so they don't have the need to be represented. Hence why it's questionable when some go out of their way to color the few black characters we do have with white skin. When it comes to black skinned individuals though, the situation is completely different. There's little to no representation presentation for us, especially in anime, which is why we feel the need to create it ourselves. I hope that makes sense and brings some perspective into this conversation. Now that we have that out of the way, let's tackle this topic in context of an actual event that took place. There was an uproar a while back when a black Pokemon character called Nessa was introduced. She was immediately embraced by the art community and artists from every background ran to draw fan art of her. Many non-black artists colored her paler and lighter skin than what she actually is and a shit show ensued. Many from the black community got upset and asked the artists to correct themselves and draw Nessa darker. This opened the door for full-fledged racism and some started to draw Nessa as a black caricature or a gorilla just to make fun of the outrage and hurt that some black people felt. Many YouTubers proceeded to cover this topic in a very one-sided way and dismiss the criticism that the black community put forth, saying that whitewashing isn't an actual thing and that people are mad for no reason. They completely ignored the blatant racism that some artists indulged in. This is why I'm talking about it right now. The black people in the comments were well within their rights to give criticism when they saw the little representation that we do get being washed away. It's a valid reason to be concerned or upset. 
I do think that some did go a bit too far and were too hostile to some artists when all they needed to do was to give criticism and move on. But the total dismissal of our concerns and the harassment that followed after was uncalled for. The blatant ignoring of our valid concerns and the deflection of the conversation to quote unquote blackwashing was painful to watch. Regardless of anything though, I do hope that every artist keeps in mind that when drawing a darker skin character, they should do it properly. Otherwise, there will be the possibility of people misunderstanding your intentions and thinking you're lightening that character's skin because of a bias you might have for whiter skin. It's not a reach to assume that considering how anti-black our society unfortunately is. I wanted to add that as an artist I do understand color theory and how skin can look lighter in some settings. I also understand that not everybody that's accused of whitewashing art deserves it. But you also have to be mindful that these concerns are coming from a place of worry. There was somebody that said that they prefer to color lighter skin and to that I say go ahead and do it. But if you choose to draw a dark skin character, then draw them as they are. If not, then feel free to choose from the million other white characters and draw one of them. That's a luxury for you that many don't have. For those comparing gender swapping to blackwashing and whitewashing, um, you're wrong. You can't compare the two since there isn't any representation issues with female slash male characters. My take from this whole mess is that this so-called blackwashing does not exist. People are just creating inclusivity and representation and that's rubbing some people the wrong way. It can't be compared to whitewashing because of the reasons I gave you previously. And let's be real, the underlying issue that nobody's mentioning here, the biggest elephant in the room, is the extremely blatant racism in the art community. People are using their preference as an excuse for whitewashing and upholding their Eurocentric standards of beauty. Instead of having this make believe conversation of blackwashing, let's focus on the real questions on why people have the urge to color dark skin whiter. Maybe colorism has something to do with that? I don't know, but we honestly have to question ourselves and look deep within ourselves. Why do we want to color these dark characters whiter? Why? Does it look better? If it does, why? Is it because I don't know how to draw them? Uh, it's easy to learn, there's so many tutorials that you can learn from. Anyways, uh, I already know that this is a very unpopular opinion to have in the art and anime community. But since it's my opinion, I'll share it like everyone else. So let's have a respectful conversation in the comments. Tell me what you think of all of this. And this doesn't have to be like an argument. I'm just sharing my opinion. Yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to read the comments. Bye bye.